Hello guys, it's me, your friendly neighbourhood Shepherd Tamer, back here on the Minecraft Survival Challenges. Now, this episode has been recorded, but some stuff happened, so let's jump into it and explain all of that. So guys, um, we recorded this whole episode. And it was going great. Um, we had a lot of fun. This was our Rainbow Pride special because of it being Pride Month. And both me and Jesse, being a part of that community, wanted to show our love and admiration for everyone. Especially with the Stonewall anniversary. So it was really important for us to make this episode. And we had a lot of fun making it. There was so much that we did that was so much fun. As you can see, we got rainbow coloured items on each side. And yes, Jesse won, but we won't talk about that. So we just went for it. And that was great and all. And then we decided, cool, we'll, we'll edit it all. And then I found out that my USB stick that I save everything to formatted itself when it was changed. So I lost everything from that episode. So what we're going to do is a behind the scenes look at Jesse B and Shepard Tamer on Minecraft Survival Challenges and we'll talk over some of the challenges that we had. So initially as you can see with our beautiful spawn point here we did look over everything and we had the rules of not using the same item twice so we have every item being different so you can't use more than one flower or seven colours of different types of walls so this was just here to show that rainbow. Um, so we both initially ran over to a village that we knew was over here, which is just through this spruce. Now when we were doing this, Jesse took a really weird path to get there and went all the way across here, up to here, and then decided to not load any chunks. So we had a technical difficulty straight away, which was always fun. Um, so I was just doing my own business. And we had this little village over here, which was by the outpost. And Jesse unloaded chunks around about here. So she got to about here and nothing was loading in front of her. Now, as you can imagine, having an outpost not far across meant she was getting attacked a lot. And it was at night time, so everything was trying to attack her. And I was just minding my own business. I was sat right over here in the village. I just got to these pumpkins and she was like we need to stop i've broken it the game's broken so we re-logged everything was working um and then i stole the bed that was right here because it was purple but then we carried on and we kept asking each other questions because there were items that we wanted to use that we didn't know if they were the right color um like pork so the uncooked um pink meat if that was pink or not which apparently isn't, but I don't believe it. Um, but we just kept going ahead, having fun with it. There was a lot of moments that everything was happening. And then near to the end of it, when it was coming down to the last few items, we both went to the same direction because we needed drowned. So we went into the ocean and both of us died. So Jesse died initially and I tried to run over and steal her items before she could get there. And then while she was here, I thought, okay, now that I'm here, let's go underwater and get some diamonds because that's an easier way to get stuff. And then I got trapped in a magma current and couldn't survive. So then I ended up dying and losing all of my items, which meant that we were completely lost. So right near to the end, I was just sort of trying to find my items, find diamonds to win the game. But Jessie got back with a heart of the sea and decided to claim it all as her own. So I guess congratulations to Jessie. But more than anything else, I want to just say happy Pride to everyone. I know we're doing this right at the end of the Pride month. But we wanted to save this one for something special. And we thought of doing it right now for you guys. So happy Pride everyone. As an ally myself, we absolutely love the community we've built up. Um, and we know that you're all here with us. So that's all for today's video. Make sure you check out Jesse's point of view so you can actually see the episode. But 
that's all for me. So let's jump out of this video and then the next one is coming very soon, which is also a special episode. Hmm, what could it be, I wonder? You have seen some sneak peeks that are behind this wall, so I wonder if you figured out what it was. Anyway, goodbye.